Okay, so you have to edit the launch JSON for a specific project. Uh, make sure the ELF lines match up to the ELF you are generating. Um, if you're using WSL2, I found that local host will work. You have to type in the actual local IP address of your machine. And of course, if you are using Windows, you have to set the GDV path to the Windows uh, installation. So I'm relying on WSL and Linux, uh, specifically WSL1. Also make sure you have a native debug extension installed and enabled. So I actually found that it wasn't enabled initially. Then open your code at the breakpoint, wherever you want, say here. Go to this uh, debug run icon. And here you have the name of that uh, launch applet or launch setting package, whatever. Um, then you have to also make sure Redux is open. PSC, PCSX Redux with the these specific properties. So you have to have uh, the open BIOS, you have to have enabled the debugger, and you have to enable the built-in GDB server. So once that's done, you can press run. This will automatically load the executable to Redux, and it's already halted just before this statement. So if we click step, and actually let's add one more step so we can step at while. We'll get to while, and we should see the hello world is printed, and we'll pause. And of course, since this is a while, a pointless while loop, each time we step, we'll just hit the while statement again and again. So, and this is how you can debug and step through your program in sync with your emulation. Thank you.